Okay, so I'm continuing to field some questions here. You guys left for uh, USMLE. Now, one of you guys sent me a long paragraph question about what you should do six months out. You said you're six, six and a half months out from the exam, and then you just asked, what should I do? You mentioned a ton of resources, very emotional right now. I get it, okay? So I've got a good plan for you for six months out. Before I address the question, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends who's prepping for US Millie. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. And find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Now, let me address the fucking question. So six months out, how should you prepare for the US Millie? Look, as I've prefaced in some of my other clips, we could discuss this for 45 minutes and many of you are not gonna be content. You're gonna have your own side questions I get it, okay? So for me to uh, be consolidated as I can be, six months out, you should recognize that roughly six to two months out is buffer period where you should be focused on QBanks. Almost all of your time between six and two months out should be on QBanks. UWorld, uh, if you, and it depends, if you're just able to study, do nothing else, or if you're busy with classes or rotations, okay, it makes a difference. But UWorld should be the focus. It's still at this point in time of this clip, July uh, 2021. If you're going to choose one QBank, it's going to be that one. Uh, so we want you to focus on UWorld predominantly. You can also go through my free PDFs from my website. Very fucking good PDFs. I've talked about that stuff in other clips. So it's buffer period right now. Students often want complex uh preparatory methods as though that's somehow is synonymous with better. In reality, you being consolidated around fewer resources is ideal. Recognize that simplicity of your preparatory regimen is superior to uh, not being consolidated. Okay, so QBank, UWorld. Now, let's say, I, I, by the way, I recommend maximum of 80 questions per day in UWorld. I know some of you are so amazing. You can do 120 plus. I get it. I don't recommend that, okay? Because once you're above 80 questions in a, in a day, you're not really reading or you're, you're being extra cursory. You are uh, sort of just hopping through, not looking at your corrects as well. It's, uh, I would say, maximum 80 questions per day. And that should take you like pretty much all day. It should take you minimum six to eight hours, minimum to do 80 questions. That's actually kind of fast in some cases, okay? Long discussions here, okay? But you wanna focus on QBank six to two months out. And once you finish that core of QBank, like let's say you do your 80 questions in a day, you've maxed out, right? And you say, well, what now? You've got my PDFs, okay? Then you also have flexibility to look at other resources, okay? so. Students frequently want to incorporate other resources, whether they're thinking about Sketchy or BMB or First Aid or, okay, so there's many different resources people can look at. I do not recommend you integrate all of these side resources if you are not able to get through your core of just doing questions first. If you're able to get through 80 year old questions in a day and it's like, 6 p.m. and you think you can do other, you're like, well, I could study for another like two hours. Great, knock yourself out. Like watch videos, do whatever you wanna do. I don't care. That's like the freedom you're afforded, okay? You're, you're allowed to have freedom, believe it or not, in how you prep. Just we wanna make sure you get through your core domain of questions first. We don't want you waking up where you're doing Anki cards and boards and beyond. Waste of fucking time, okay? So you're predominantly gonna be going through QBanks uh, months out, whether you're six months out, whether you're eight months out. Okay, if you're further out from your exam, you say, Michael, you said you were, but what about other things? You have simile RX is pretty good for step one. Okay, it's uh, the questions are more simple, uh, but it doesn't matter. They're still they're They're good for building your foundation out. When you get to within two months of your exam, and I've made other content on this, uh, other clips here on the YouTube, but with, when you're within two months of your exam, you need to focus on the NBME material, okay? It forms 20 through 30. Obviously, 25 through 30 are online, but as I've said numerous times, you're going to be screenshotting your incorrects from 20 through 30 uh, into a Word document, save as a PDF, and that master PDF you can review leading up to your exam. And also, you'll want to go through the corrects from those forms 
in addition to your incorrects in the PDF that you're going to be compiling. Okay, there's a lot we can chat about. So obviously drop a comment. Uh, not every clip I make is going to be uh, 45 minutes as I prefaced with, right? So you know the deal. I'm going to make more content. Subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.